everybody, welcome back to Jamea's Promo, and today we're going to talk about a big update that happened with the Samsung keyboard that is a part of Samsung One UI 2.1. So what you see in front of me here is going to be the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This is the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now when you go right over here and you click on this little more option, and you click on the more option over here, you can see that there's quite a bit more icons right over here, which is again part of Samsung One UI 2.1. This phone over here is still running on 2.0. So as we take a look at this right now, I will move this phone out of the way really quick, but you'll see that there's quite a bit more icons sitting on 2.1 versus 2.0. And there's also even another tab. Now, some of these features were just moved just to be a little bit easier, but there is a couple brand new icons. Some of this was built into the settings, but you can see that you don't need to go into the settings, go into another menu and then another tab. They will all actually just be sitting right inside of this little more option. So let's move this one out of the way and let's just focus on everything that is brand new. So first off, I wanna show you what it looks like when you open up your keyboard. You're gonna have a little arrow over here. That's where you can attach your images, do a photo. You also have a plus icon to do multiple other things. It's actually really nice. The Samsung keyboard offers you a lot. Then you have your emojis. You also have your stickers, GIFs. This is the, the speech to keyboard. So speech to text, a little icon, your settings, and then here's the more. So let's go through everything inside of here inside of this search icon here now searching just means it's searching through everything your stickers your emojis uh, things like that so let's just type in the word love uh, what's going to show right here is the first row of emojis you'd be able to use expressing love same thing here with stickers and then it'll also show you songs to kind of show off love, your gifts. Uh, and then if you wanted to go more specific with each individual category, it's gonna be on the bottom. So this was everything that you just got done searching for. If you wanna find all of the emojis with love involved, here's all of the stickers with love involved. And it's, it's gonna show a lot of the stuff that I created. There's a lot of really cool things in here, to be honest. There's a lot going on right there. Uh, here is also all the gifts dealing with love so beforehand if you went into gif and then you typed in love you would be in its own category but you have all of these other things you'd be able to use if you had anything saved in your samsung pass then you'd be able to find anything inside of samsung pass with the word love in it i'm going to stop here with an intermission if you guys are liking this video so far and if it's helping you out giving you a little bit more knowledge make sure you hit on that subscribe button it is free to join this party 87 percent of the views from this video is from non-subscribers so hit that subscribe button and let's move on. Moving over into the second one, Translate. This is one that's brand new. It's actually really cool. So let's say that I'm speaking to random over here and I'm gonna put it in as English there and then maybe they speak Spanish. So I'm gonna go through here and just say, uh, you know, how are you today? And then once you hit on done, it's gonna place it on the top and I'll unhighlight it so you can see it. Now you hit on your little space bar and then maybe you needed to add in more down over here. You, you just say, you know, I am doing good or you can say really whatever whatever else and then now it's going to add that up there as well too then let's say that maybe you're talking to somebody who speaks a different language so all you'd have to do is when you go inside of this language thing uh, you can also you can also reverse it so if you speak spanish going over in english just hit on that little uh, switch icon so again we're gonna go from english and let's go into something else let's go into french uh, so french i'm gonna be like "Ooh, i love you Bam. And so now it's going to go right over into French. It's just, it's just super cool. Uh, this will really come in handy uh, for anybody who does international work, anybody who has a business who talks to other people with other languages. It's, it's really cool and super, super effective. And it actually looks very accurate as well. The next icon will be Samsung Pass. So Samsung Pass is an application that you have on your Samsung phone. It is a secure area that holds all of your passwords and things like that. So let's say that we go inside of here. If I had any notes that were saved, uh, inside of Samsung Pass, like maybe a note about a client that they're like, oh, they're 54 years old, they're married for 20 years, uh, kids are this age, they got married at this location and we are related this way. So you can kind of send it maybe over to your associate. Uh, same thing with your cards. If you have your business card, you need to send it over to someone. So I have addresses saved in here. So this is my PO box that anytime a company wants me to review anything, it's just saved right there for underneath addresses. I tap on it, it's gonna go right there and it's a way that they'd be able to send it over. And then you also have your, all your sign-ins. So you can sign in with 
everything. So anything that you're signed in with, you'd be able to share your username, but not your password. Now, uh, that's one of the really nice things too, is because if somebody is like, hey, what is your Netflix password or your Netflix username, you'd be able to send over your Netflix username. So now let's go over to the very next icon, and this one's gonna be Spotify. Spotify, it's actually pretty cool. I don't really use Spotify personally. I use YouTube Music, but anybody else who uses Spotify or if you wanna try it out, you would be able to have it linked up. And so if you wanna send a song that has something to deal with having a great day, you can go through and you can actually send the song to somebody. You can also do searches if you wanna find something per in particular, but let's just go through with what was already pre-made without going through search. So this is like modern uh, psychedella or whatever the hell that is. And then we're gonna move over into I Love 90s Hip Hop. Now this is more of my playlist right here. So if I wanted to send over this, you just tap that, hit send, and then now they're gonna get the title, who it's by, and then basically click that and it's gonna start playing the song for them. So now let's move over into the very next one, but let me get rid of all of this. So the first four that you'll see here are the main new icons. Everything else down here were just placed in a different location. So this is your clipboard. So anything that's saved in your clipboard, you'd be able to send it over. Uh, then you also have, let's say we go back into more, you also have your text editing. So if you wanted to do any type of an edit with cut, copy, paste, uh, you know, select all, select, you can move your cursor, things like that. So if things were written, you'd be able to actually uh, change and make edits. Then let's go through here. You also have your modes. So if you like your keyboard to be one handed mode, floating keyboard, standard keyboard, you know, it's all just sitting right there. You also have your keyboard size. So if you like to change the size of the keyboard, making it a little bit, you know, taller, smaller, things like that. You can also move it up if you want it to go a little bit away from the bottom. So you put this anywhere that you need it to. So you can go, I'm gonna go like mid high. Now this isn't anything new. Uh, the couple, last couple things that we just got done seeing, these were just placed somewhere else, making it a little bit more efficient and faster to get to. Here's all of your Bitmojis. <laughs> Again, you have all the tabs on the bottom, the different categories, everything that you can go through. And then the very next one is gonna be my emojis. So these are all the ones that I've created, uh, or I should say the phone created for me. So you're gonna have your gifts and then all of your stickers. Then you wanna go with the very last one, which is gonna be this Mojitalk. So the very last one is this Moji Talk. So uh, it's just regular little GIFs and stickers that is something that you can download when you go through these icons on the very bottom. So you're gonna see different ones as well, depending on whichever ones you have downloaded. Uh, so it's just gonna show you the very first tab anyways, and it's sitting right here. Now I wanna throw in here at this part of the video that when you look at all of these icons on this first page and you look at the second page, if there's one of these on the second page that you know for a fact you're gonna use just a little bit more, so you'd be able to press and hold and then you'd be able to move it over into the very next screen. So I wanted to put my emojis right over here. I'm not a huge fan of Spotify. I actually use YouTube Music. So I'm gonna move Spotify over here. Uh, and then this keyboard size, once it's already set, I mean, it's already set. So I'm gonna move that right over there. So now what I have is I have my emojis and then my bitmojis on the bottom and then everything else, you know, still sitting in the same spot. But this was everything I wanted to show you guys for this video. The Samsung keyboard has been updated. It came along with four new features. Uh, it moved around a few places, making things a little bit easier to get to and faster. But this is actually pretty cool. The stuff that's definitely helpful is the search. If you want to find anything dealing with love and you don't care if you send an emoji, sticker, or GIF, that is the one that you want to use. Talking to anybody else in a different language is so much easier. Sharing your usernames is, again, fast and as well as addresses uh, and then everything else but i hope you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit and subscribe subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video the more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later